Hello friends, welcome to the channel. I am Poonam Dua and today we will understand with the help of this video the different functions of languages. The different functions of languages at what occasions the language has been used since the evolution and how come language serves different different purposes. That is what we will understand in this video and this is a very important topic for IGNU students. MEG 04 aspects of language that is the subject. Let us see first, how did the language originate initially? Kaise shuru hui thi, kaise comments hui thi? Language comments because human beings needed to unite in order to exist. Ek dusre ke saath milna julna baha zaruri tha existence ke liye. And for well-organized support, a suitable mode of communication was obligatory. Thik se rehne ke liye, sab ke saath. Uh, mil jul kar rehne ke liye ek communication mode bahut hi obligatory tha bahut hi compulsory tha isi wajah se evolution of language hua hoga so this person roman jacobson is the one who gave these theories or these functions of languages he defined six functions of language or communication functions also this name is given agar aapko exams mein communication functions hai then you need to give the same answer According to which an effective act of verbal communication can be described. Communication ka impact kaha kaha par hota hai. Kaun kaun se purposes ke liye language ko use kiya jata hai. Language ki functions basically. This is what we are doing in this video. This is the person Norman Jacobson who was a linguist who studied the structure of language and was particularly majorly interested in the difficulties that appear in many languages. These are the six functions defined. Referential function, we will do each and every uh, function in detail. The expressive function, the directive function, phatic function, poetic function, and metalingual function. Those who are watching this video are advised to take down written notes side by side. Let us see referential function first. Referential function, which may kuch na kuch refer kiya jata hai. The context or major purpose of referential function is what is being spoken of, what is being referred to. Ek normal statement sentence, agar aap log uh, statement imperative ho sab kuch samajhte hai, to ek normal statement sentence is called referential. For example, if you are just telling to someone that sales are up to 20% uh, increase this year or uh, I am shifting to Mumbai or yesterday I visit the Taj Mahal. Something is being told, something is being referred to. That is what we call referential function of language. And this one, next one. This is called the expressive function. Expressive function in which the feeling, emotion, attitude of the speaker or writer is inherent is quite visible and it is also meant to evoke feelings in the listener or reader the same feeling that is inherent with the writer or speaker same feeling should be given to the listener or the reader so um, with the help of expressive function we can utter emotive utterances of a positive nature generally especially when we um, cite something of great beauty we don't we say wow isn't that beautiful isn't that amazing or if someone is looking beautiful we can say oh my god you look stunning so the expressive function apne apni feelings ko apne emotions ko express kiya hai properly that is also one of the need one of the function of language that one needs to be expressive And this one, the next one, this is the directive function. Directive function or you can say imperative function. Imperative sentences ki hongi na? Uh, English mein bahut bar. Imperative sentences means jin sentences mein aap kisi ko directly address kar rahe ho aur uska kuch purpose hai address karne ka. Maybe you are giving an order, maybe you are making a request. So imperative sentence you can uh, take. Uh, for example, if you are asking uh, someone to go to market by taking the name, uh, say any name, uh, Ram or Shyam, go to market once or 
प्लीज गिव मी अ ग्लास ऑफ वॉटर समथिंग लाइक दैट इन विच यू आर गिविंग सम ऑफ दी अदर डायरेक्शन बेसिकली किसी को कुछ काम करने के लिए कहा जा रहा है इट कैन बी अर्डर मोड इट कैन बी अ रिक्वेस्ट मोड Next one, fetic function. Fetic function is the one in which we just say something for breaking the ice to initiate a conversation, communication, or uh, social interactions. के लिए social communication के लिए ज़्यादा use किया जाता है fetic function को rather than being referential or expressing something like you just for the sake of asking, you ask someone, hello, how are you? Or uh, isn't it very hot today? Isn't it very cold today? so when we serve just the purpose of being social with someone or just the purpose of breaking the ice between two people while initiating a communication that is called fetic function next is poetic function poetic function focuses on the message फॉर इट्स ओन सेक मैसेज तो देना ही देना है लेकिन मैसेज को थोड़ा सा स्टाइलिश थोड़ा सा पोइटिक बना देना है जिससे कि वो ब्यूटिफाई हो जाए दिस इज एन एस्थेटिक फंक्शन ऑफ लैंग्वेज एस्थेटिक मीन्स लैंग्वेज को सिर्फ डेकोरेट किया गया दिस फंक्शन फोकसेज ऑन द मैसेज एज वेल एज द वे द मैसेज इज कॉन्वेड और कॉम्युनिकेटेड लुक एट दिस सेंटेंस द फर्स्ट वन इज दिस द सेम सन ये और इज द फायर आन अदर फायर आजकल बहुत गर्मी हो रही है स्पेसिफिकली दिल्ली में सो वी कैन यूज दिस सेंटेंस क्या सन बिल्कुल वैसा ही है या आज आग उबल रहा है तो इस तरीके से आप जब यूज करते हैं अपने सेंटेंस को यू जस्ट वांट टू से कि बहुत गर्मी हो रही है लेकिन आपने बहुत ही पोइटिक बहुत ही स्टाइलिस्टिक स्टाइल में उसको कहा लुक एट दिन सेंटेंस टू नाइट द मून शाइन्स हाई एज एफ इट वो अ डायमंड जनरली uh, किसी पोइटिक डिवाइस को यूज करते हुए कुछ कहना मेटाफर्स को सिमिलीज को यूज करना और अपने एक्सप्रेशन को अपनी फीलिंग को एक्सप्रेस करना थ्रू द लिटरेरी डिवाइस दैट इज व्हाट वी विल कॉल द पोइटिक फंक्शन ऑफ द लैंग्वेज इज फुलफिल्ड एंड लास्ट वन मेटालिंगुअल फंक्शन Metalingual function is called the function when we just talk about the language itself. We are defining something from the language. For example, we are defining what are nouns, what are pronouns, what are adjectives, what are adverbs. This function is used to talk about language itself. That is why called metalingual function to discuss or describe language itself. Let us see this example in written language. Proper nouns, whether of people or thing, are always capitalized at the beginning. So here we are defining proper nouns and its function. So language is fulfilling here metalingual function. Regardless of their position in the sentence, proper nouns are to be capitalized. So this is one feature of proper noun. When we talk about any feature of any part of language, then we will say metalingual function of the language is. result let us revise one more the referential function is used to tell someone some information it is kind of a statement the expressive function is used to uh, express some emotion or feeling directive is imperative to give order or make a request fetic to break the ice or to start initiate a communication by trying to be a little formal initially the poetic function when we uh, kind of use literary devices and try to beautify the language that we are speaking metalingual function is when we are referencing to some feature of language itself for example if we define a noun if we define a pronoun or or if we give any kind of definition of any feature of a language itself that is what we call metalingual function so here we reach to the end of this video this particular topic has been covered thoroughly you may note down each and everything in this video and can write the same along with some uh, more explanation some more examples you will really tend to score good marks in this particular section you may join the classes to cover all the topics in detail can click the link in description to get connected to us for admission purpose thanks a lot for watching best of luck for exam and please do not forget to share and subscribe the channel 
again best of luck from my side to everyone who is watching this video for their upcoming examinations